There could be multiple reasons why you maybe ask about the US bank account, whether it be like selling on Amazon uh, or eBay, doing like Shopify dropshipping, any sort of freelancing, or even like having your own agency. There's a long list of reasons why you maybe ask about having a US bank account. Well, today I wanna to introduce you to the most common solution, a company called Pioneer. And when it comes to opening a US bank account, pretty much it's like the one of the simplest and the easiest thing you can get it. Pioneer is a huge company that's listed on Nasdaq and it has millions of users worldwide. It has very low fees and sending money, like if you have your Pioneer account with the other Pioneer account owners, sending money between those accounts are uh, fee free. You're not paying anything unlike you pay sh uh, shit tons on PayPal. The little stuff advantages goes on. So let's take a look at a little bit more of the things that why Pioneer can be great. If you ask me, Pioneer is great because the entry level is only you having a account in your home country. Country Like you don't have to have uh, provided like crazy things. As long as you can open a bank account in your home country and you have like any sort of bank presence, that will be it and that will be enough. One thing that's confused a lot, it doesn't have to be a USD account. So it can be like your local currency account as long as like you have an active account. And that would be the only thing that they, they want to ask. This is great that this is happening, that they're asking your local home country account. Because once you open your Pioneer, you pretty much connect this account. And uh, from that account that's connected to your Pioneer, you're going to be send, able to send money between these accounts. Like you can fund your Pioneer account with your home country account. Or you can send your money from your Pioneer account to the um, your local account. And the other thing that's great is Pioneer's partner with the one of the like, biggest selling, selling platforms such as Amazon as many payment providers. And pretty much like when it comes to setting an Amazon seller account, you can simply use the instructions that they have to uh, connect your Payner account, US bank account to your Amazon account. So one thing, make sure that you're doing your Payner application with the link that I've shared in the description. If you're using the link below, it's gonna be giving you $50. And, and not only that, I wanna to try to do my very first giveaway uh, to one lucky person who's gonna use the link to open their Pioneer account and write down a penny to the comments. Uh, I'm gonna be picking someone randomly uh, once this video reaches 200 comments and 20,000 views. So make sure you're using the link below to open your Pioneer account to get your 50. Additionally, a chance to win 200 that I'm giving away. I'll be picking someone randomly from this comments. I'm gonna be replying to your comment to get your uh, information or whatever. Again, once the video reaches the 200 comments at 20,000 views. So when it comes to the application, this will how the page look like. You hit the sign up and earn 50 button. You can either apply as a company or as, a, or as an individual. Uh, if you choose the company, you're gonna be in need, in need to using your company details, such as what type of entity you have, it's an LLC or whatever you have. And also one thing that I wanna say, the information that you're putting here, make sure that it matches uh, whether it's like your name with your identification or your company information with your company documents because it's going to be double checked by them to make sure that all the information you provide is correct. And then you provide your address, you receive the verification code to your phone number. Uh, and after this, you set up your password, you provide your additional business information. Like if you choose, let's say LLC, they're going to be asking your company documents that shows that the company is owned by you. And that will be pretty much it. And the very last step is you provided you connecting your local banking in your home country or any bank presence. Give your American bank account as well if you have one. So if you choose the company, don't worry. You don't have to have your company account, business account ready yet. You're going to be able to provide your personal account as long as you are the owner or the representative of the company, which I assume in this case, yes, you will be. So if you have a company, you can open a company account, even though you have a you don't have a company account ready yet. So that's pretty much it. There could be additional verification depending on the applicant, depending on where you're from. They may ask like further documents, uh, but most of the time the application is pretty much it and you're gonna be like accepted by them. Uh, if they ask anything, make sure that you provide it to them. Within a few days, you'll have your account set and ready to use. And wherever you ask for your bank information, they may be asking for like your bank statement or something. Maybe you may need to provide that max. And once this is done, your account is ready. So whenever you ask for your account number, routing number for your US bank account, you can, you're going to be able to start using your uh, payner account to receive funds, send funds set your Amazon seller account and it's not over yet. Additionally, there are two things that I want to mention, which is debit card and a virtual card. 
So the differences between the debit card and virtual card is pretty simple. The virtual one pretty much is a picture that you will see the information and you can provide that information to your like ads account on Google or Facebook. Uh, the debit card is the same with different numbers, but it's like also you can use it to, you know, run your ads account. It's going to be shipped to you. They're going to ship it. You can use the physical one, debit one, and uh, like ATMs, whenever the bill comes, you can be the one flexing like, okay, just take it from my card. Uh, only thing that I want to mention with the physical one, debit one, is that you would need to have a requirement of $100 balance to ask it. Until that point, you can't ask for your uh, debit card and you can get them like shipped uh, by painter to you. Again, one thing that I want you to make sure, you use the link below that I have in the description to get your $50. And write down Painter in the comments in order to chance to win $200 once this video reaches to 200 comments and 200,000 views. I'm going to be again fulfilling someone's Painter account who uses the link below with the $200 that I'm giving away. So if you're looking for more physical banking and have like a, your US company ready like LLC and everything. There's other new bank that I, I want to mention which is like a bank without a branch. Uh, it's a bank that's called Mercury Bank, which you can also find the video that I have by simply clicking here. And thanks for watching my video. See you in my next video.